Hi friend, this is Shyam Rathor and today we will study the chapter first of the foreign trade policies and second part of the first chapter. So here we will start from uh, paragraphs 1.21. So in this paragraph we will study uh, regarding a facility, facility facility provided by the DGFT to the exporter and importer. Okay. So first paragraph uh, 21 saying encouraging development of third party API means uh, what DGFT, how DGFT encourages the third party? Third party means just like a custom house agent, freight forwarders and uh, banks which is integrated with the ADIs. So uh, DGFT encourages this third party for, uh, for informing that you can uh, online file the data and your data will transmit it or online to the DGFT server. You can you can interact and you can check your data anytime so this uh, this type of facility provided by the dgft okay and dgft also provide uh, paragraph 2.2 fourth forthcoming govern e government initiatives so in coming times dgft will provide some facilities uh, what kind of facility will provide message action transmission of the bill of entry and from the custom to DGF team one uh, means your shipment is clearance uh, at the custom and data will automatically transfer to DGFT server that shipment is already clear and you can uh, you can check this data on online okay so uh, because of DGFT takes uh, provide some um, other facility also to exporter so this will be very uh, beneficial for the DGFT and exporter also okay so second online issuing the export obligation discharge certificate coming times the dgft will uh, provide you the online export obligation certificate means that when you uh, when you import some shipment from the overseas so in case of capital good you f you get freely you can freely import the goods without paying any duty so but you have to fulfill the export obligation against the uh, goods you have imported in the India country so go uh, next time uh, in coming time DGFT will provide you online certificate currently we are not uh, we, we receive the physically export obligation certificate okay so in coming time year online next third point message exchange with the Ministry of Corporate and Affairs uh, message will automatically transport the Ministry of Corporate Affairs and uh, for CIN and DIN information okay means uh, what export and imports uh, uh, transaction is done this month uh, what is the total data just like this message exchange with the CB DT2 for pen okay so message uh, incoming time message will automatically transfer with the uh, with central direct uh, central board of direct tax uh, means you, uh, how many shipment duty paid uh, for against this pen this data will uh, this message will automatically exchange in next time onlinely okay so mobile application also will be provided in the coming times okay so we go to the uh, paragraphs 2.3 is saying uh, 2.3 is saying free pa passes of the export consignment free passes means you that uh, there is no restriction on export consignment so consignment item of the export shall not be withheld delay in any reason in agency of central government but means that ki, there is no restriction from the central uh, agency uh, agency of central and state government you can export uh, very easily okay and very fastly facility provided by the government in case government have any doubt even that you can give the undertaking that we have export this good and export the good release your consignment so there is no restriction on export <coughs> no seizure export related stock just like a some sometimes you know you have that you have seen that some uh, export stock is uh, seized uh, sorry domestic stock is seized just like a you know uh, some some people's uh, maintaining the stock for uh, hike the price but in case of export there is no uh, no seize of the export related uh, of the export stocks
जस्ट लाइक ए समाइम प्राइज ऑफ अनियन इज हाइक ड्यू टू दे मेंटेनिंग द स्टॉक ओके बट इन केस ऑफ एक्सपोर्ट देर इज नो एनी फैसिलिटी आर यू कैन नॉट इट इज इलीगल फॉर द इलीगल फॉर द गवर्नमेंट दैट यू आर मेंटेनिंग द स्टॉक फॉर एनी गुड्स ओके दिर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पैराग्राफ्स टू वन पॉइंट टू फाइव ट्वेंटी फोर इंटू सेवन कस्टम क्लेंस गवर्नमेंट एज प्रोवाइडिंग फैसिलिटी ऑफ द क्लियरेंस फर्सिलिटी ट्वेंटी फोर इंटू सेवन सो सेंट्रल बोर्ड ऑफ सेंट्रल बोर्ड ऑफ द कस्टम इज इंट्रोड्यूसिंग द फैसिलिटी ऑफ द कस्टम क्लियरेंस इन दर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व फॉर फैसिलिटिंग बिलो एंट्री एंड फैक्टर ऑफ सफर कंटेनर गुड्स शिपिंग बिल ओके सो बिफोर दैट टाइम दिस फैसिलिटी वॉज नॉट अवेलेबल बट प्रजेंटली दिस फैसिलिटी वेल अवेलेबल इन दिस नाइनटीन सी पोर्ट एंड सेवेंटीन एयर कार्गो कॉम्प्लेक्स ओके द दिस फैसिलिटी ऑफ कस्टम क्लियंस हाउ हैज हाउ हैज बिन एक्सटेंड टू बिल ऑफ एंट्री नॉट फैसिलिटेड बिल ऑफ एंट्री इज इट ऑल्सो अवेलेबल ऑन नाइनटीन सी पोर्ट एंड सेवेंटीन एयर कार्गो कॉम्प्लेक्स फर्दर नो ओवर टाइम चार्जेस मर्चेंटाइज ओवर टाइम चार्जेस आर रिक्वायर टू कलेक्ट द रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ द सर्विस प्रोवाइडेड बाय द कस्टम क्लियर समटाइम इफ यू नॉट कलेक्ट यूर शिपमेंट फ्रॉम द पोर्ट दैन इट एनी चार्ज सम चार्ज विल बी अप्लाई फ्रॉम द कस्टम साइड सो दे इज नो चार्ज इन दिस केस ओके एन अदर पेरेग्राफ्स वी आर स्टडी वन पॉइंट टू सिक्स सिंगल विंडो कलर कस्टम क्लियरेंस इन दिस कस्टम क्लियर फैसिलिटी यू हैव सीन दैट some time we have uh, we import some uh, some restriction goods so we have to take perm- permission from the many many department of the government so in single window custom clearance what this provide the facility on the a single window means it is only one place there you know not interface go to other department okay so this is very good facility provided by the government in uh, export import face डिपार्टमेंट ओके सो इंडियन कस्टम इंट्रोड्यूस द सी सिंगल विंडो इंटरफेस फैसिलिटी फ्रॉम विथ इफेक्टिव फ्रॉम द वन अप्रैल ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन ओके सो नेक्स्ट वी स्टडी दिस इज द गुड फैसिलिटी इन वाट हेल्प टू एक्सपोर्ट रिड्यूस रिड्यूस द कॉस्ट ऑफ डूइंग बिजनेस ओके हाउ रिड्यूस बिकॉज यू डोंट देर इज नो नीड टू गो एनी अदर डिपार्टमेंट फॉर filling fulfilling the formalities and enhance the transparency because uh, you are is giving all the uh, authority documents regarding shipment at the one place so it is a, a, in a uh, it is increasing the transparency also and reduce the duplicacy and cost compliance because uh, your goods is under maintaining of the custom edia system so cost will be also uh, maintain why they are ki this product what is the value of market in this this product and reducing duplicacy duplicacy means uh, there is a only uh, you have a you import some good against any shipment so if you, uh, again uh, again such kind of good uh, import from same port then it reflect that it already imported such kind of duplicacy will be automatically recognized by the software of the custom optimum and optimum utilization of main power there is no need to use main, main power to go more more department na so this facilities help to importer exporter this is very important <coughs> uh, paragraphs 2.7 self assessment of the custom duty uh, self assessment of custom duty is importer exporter was introduced in the wide finance act 2011 okay The system is trust based. The objective is expandi, uh, expandi, release the import goods. The system operation is economic risk management. Okay, uh, you can understand that this was act was come in two thousand eleven. Okay, but uh, I am ex, I will explain you in the simple way. Uh, the self assessment means when you are importing some good from the overseas. Okay, but before importing, you have to file. the bill of entry in the custom edi uh, by uh, uh, basis on the commercial invoice okay so when you file that you will 
सेल्फ असेस युअर ड्यूटी इज हाउ विल ड्यूटी विल बी अप्लाय ऑन दिस गुड बिफोर इम्पोर्टिंग गुड यू विल नो दैट कि दिस ड्यूटी विल बी अप्लाय ऑन दैट ओके सो दिस फैसिलिटी इज वेरी गुड फॉर द इम्पोर्टर एक्सपोर्टर अथोराइज इकोनॉमिक ऑपरेटर प्रोग्राम्स ओके गवर्नमेंट हैज प्रोवाइड मेनी काइंड ऑफ फैसिलिटी टू इम्प्रूव इंडियाज एक्सपोर्ट ओके सो इन इन द इन दिस प्रोग्राम मेनी प्रोग्राम्स प्रोवाइडेड बाई गवर्नमेंट सो प्रोग्राम लाइक इकोनॉमिक ऑपरेट प्रोग्राम हैज इन डेवलप सो वाट काइंड ऑफ बेनिफिट विल गेट इम्पोर्टर एक्सपोर्ट फ्रॉम दिस प्रोग्राम फर्स्ट सिक्योर सप्लाई चेंज फ्रॉम पॉइंट ऑफ एक्सपोर्ट एंड इम्पोर्ट ओके वेन सप्लाई और चेन विल बी सिक्योर एंड इम्पोर्ट एंड एक्सपोर्ट ओके दिस इज नो एनी अदर प्रॉब्लम इज जनरेटेड बाई दिस एंड एबिलिटी टू डेमोनस्ट्रेट द कंप्लायंस विद द सिक्योरिटी स्टैंडर्ड वैन कॉन्ट्रेक्टिंग सप्लाई ओवर सिक्स इम्पोर्टर गवर्नमेंट हैव प्रिपेयर सच काइंड ऑफ प्रोग्राम वैन यू एक्सपोर्ट और इम्पोर्ट वैन यू वैन यू गो टू एक्सपोर्ट इम्पोर्ट फ्रॉम द ओवरसीज दे ओवरसीज कस्टम विल ऑल्सो क्लियर द गुड इन फास्ट वे ओके एनहांस बॉर्डर क्लियरेंस प्रिवेलेजिंग म्यूचुअल रिकॉर्नाइज एग्रीमेंट यस दिस म्यूचुअल रिकॉर्नाइज एग्रीमेंट इज द एग्रीमेंट बिटवीन टू कंट्री दैट दिस वी आर एक्सपोर्टिंग दिस गुड एंड देर इज नो नीड टू चेक बिकॉज वी आर ऑलरेडी वी हैव ऑलरेडी एग्जामिन द गुड ओके सो दिस म्यूचुअल रिकॉर्नाइज एग्रीमेंट ऑल्सो डन बाई गवर्नमेंट मिनिमम डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फ्लो ऑफ कार्गो आफ्टर सिक्योरिटी लेवल एंड डिस्ट्रप्शन ओके मिनिमम डिस्टर्ब डिस्ट्रप्शन ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ कार्गो आफ्टर सिक्योरिटी लेवल डिस्ट्रप्शन यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दिस रिडक्शन इन डिवेल टाइम एंड रिलेटेड कॉस्ट ओके कस्टम एडवाइज असिस्टेंट इफ ट्रेड है फेस अनएक्सेप्टेड इश्यू विद द कस्टम कंट्रीज विद द विच विथ विच इंडियाज एम आर ए दिस काइंड ऑफ फैसिलिटी प्रोवाइड बाई गवर्नमेंट पॉइंट बी इज सेंग प्रोग्राम हैज बीन इम्प्लीमेंटेड द अदर कस्टम इंटरमिनिस्टर दैट गिव ए यू स्टेटस होल्डर प्रिफेंशियल कस्टम ट्रीटमेंट इन टर्म ऑफ प्रोड्यूसिंग एग्जामिनेशन वट आई हैव सेट बिफोर दैट गवर्नमेंट टेकिंग इनिशिएटिव टू अदर कंट्रीज कस्टम क्लियरेंस दैट म्यूचुअल अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट रिड्यूसिंग द एग्जामिंग ओके एंड फास्ट क्लियरेंस एंड गुड विल रिसीव डिलीवर एट द कस्टमर इन द टाइम वे बिकॉज दिस फैसिलिटी इज ऑल्सो इनिशिएटेड बाई द गवर्नमेंट ए ओ प्रोग्राम एक्सेप्टेड टू रिजल्ट म्यूचुअल रिकॉर्डिंग ओके दिस ऑल एज द सेम विच आई एक्सप्लेन ओके एज अ स्टेप फर्दर टूवर्ड अर ट्रस्ट बेस्ड कंप्लायंस इंडियन कस्टम हैज इंट्रोड्यूस न्यू रिवेम थोराइज इकोनॉमिक ऑपरेटर प्रोग्राम रिटर्न विद एक्सक्लूसिव बेनिफिट रिलेटेड द सेल्फ सर्टिफिकेशन हैव बीन प्रोवाइडेड दिस फैसिलिटी गवर्नमेंट हैड प्रोवाइड यू सेल्फ सर्टिफिकेशन दैट वाट यू गुड यू आर यू एक्सपोर्टिंग गुड विल गुड द गवर्नमेंट विल नॉट चेक यूर गुड्स एंड एग्जामिंग एंड टेकिंग टाइम टू स्टॉपिंग एंड क्लियरेंस सो यू कैन सेल्फ सर्टिफाई द यूर गुड एंड एक्सपोर्ट ओके बट दिस फैसिलिटी फॉर नॉट not as this facility is not for the all exporter this is a some status holder exporter can take benefit of this pre filing facility of for shipping bill you can file your shipping bill before your shipments before 7 days before 7 days from air shipment and 14 days for icd shipment okay for example you are you have to do shipment in the next week but you can file your shipping bill before Uh, before seven days before the uh, custom clearance okay and same in icd case air case air shipment and icd means sea shipment okay so icd means inland container depot where you have uh, your containers and shipments uh, can be examined at the custom so before 14 days of the shipment you can file your shipping bill on the uh, at the ईडी आई सिस्टम ओके नेक्स्ट कटिंग डाउन डिले इन फाइलिंग एक्सपोर्ट जनरल मैनिफेस्ट बिफोर बिफोर सम डेज मीन्स एक्सपोर्ट जनरल मैनिफेस्ट मीनिंग दैट 
शिपिंग लाइन एंड एयरलाइंस प्रोवाइड द सर्टिफिकेट नॉट सर्टिफिकेट सर इज द डॉक्यूमेंट इट्स कॉल जनरल एक्सपोर्ट जनरल मैनिफेस्ट आफ्टर आफ्टर एग्जामिनिंग एंड आफ्टर शिपमेंट हैज टेकिंग अंडर अंडरटेकिंग इन द शिपिंग लाइन एंड एयरलाइन सो कटिंग डाउन द डिले बिफोर समथिंग दे टेक टेक टू लॉन्ग टाइम बट नाउ इट इज अ वेरी क्विकर रेक्टिवेशन फैसिलिटी प्रोवाइड बाई द म्यूचुअल इंडस्टिंग बिटवीन एयरलाइंस एंड गवर्नमेंट एंड शिपिंग लाइन एंड गवर्नमेंट सो दे प्रोवाइड इजिली एक्सपर्ट जनरल मैनिफेस्ट ओके दिस इज यू नो वाट इज यूज ऑफ एक्सपोर्ट जनरल आफ्टर गेटिंग एक्सपोर्ट जनरल मैनिफेस्ट गवर्नमेंट कंसिडर दैट यू हैव डन एक्सपोर्ट ओके सो दिस इज वेरी गवर्नमेंट प्रोवाइड ड्यूटी ड्रॉबैक फैसिलिटी एंड एम आई स्कीम ऑन बिहाइव आफ्टर जनरेटिंग दिस एक्सपोर्ट जनरल मैनिफेस्ट बिफोर यू कैन नॉट टेक एडवांटेज ऑफ द अदर फैसिलिटीज एट ड्रॉबैक एंड एम आई स्कीम ओके फैसिलिटी ऑफ द कॉमन बॉन्ड एंड एल यू टी अगेंस्ट अथोराइजेशन इशूज अंडर डिफरेंट एक्सपोर्ट प्रमोशन स्कीम्स ओके गवर्नमेंट प्रोवाइडिंग फैसिलिटी द कॉमन बॉन्ड एल यू टी एंड कॉमन बॉन्ड वेन्स मीन्स यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वाट इज दिस काइंड ऑफ बॉन्ड बॉन्ड यूज फॉर दैट योर शिपमेंट इज इम्पोर्टेड ऑन कस्टम बोर्ड सो वी नीड टू फाइल द Uh, if we are uh, we are uh, taking advantage of free duties under fpcg then we have to take uh, we have to taking under we have to take under we have to given the letter of undertaking uh, in which mentioned that we will pay the duty and we will uh, uh, we will pay the duty and fulfill the export obligations Why? because government you government providing facility to free duty so government take the undertaking against this so this facility be government provide to exporter okay exemptions from service tax and service receive abroad this is deleted this is, uh, this paragraph is not using currently Ex- export perishable agriculture product okay government has taking many initiatives to promote the agriculture product because agriculture pro- product of agriculture is very important for the indian ex- exporter because there is no raw material we need to import from other country all the thing is pre- uh, raw material and all the thing is available in india so in this case uh, it may it will uh, this goods and product will uh, make status of india and economic in increase the economic st- study okay so these are very important 34 paragraph 34 <coughs> paragraph 34 custom authority has decided to undertake time release study as per wco guideline measure custom progress in six monthly basis okay time is release study the unique tools method is measuring performance of the custom so what objective of this identifying the bottlenecks bottleneck in the international supply are constant affecting the custom release means that you are you have import you are doing import and export but how much time is taken by the shipment traveling means how much time taking uh, your cost shipment is examining in how much time just like it shipment you have, you have dispatch your goods and it is received at the icd or airport so uh, in case of c it take 3 day, it it uh, custom take 3 days for examining the goods and then put on the and then rail out the goods and that goods receive at the sea port and it takes 9 days such like so government time release studies is saying that uh, where we are what are the constant affecting custom release okay so monitoring this monitoring help to reduce the custom clearance time for the exporter important 
for delivering good in the short time so this will good for india and also exporter establish baseline trade facilitation performance measure government is establishing baseline trade facilitation and performance measurement okay is the same also how we can improve the export and like that okay 35 is saying town export excellence means development and objective kya what is the objective of this paragraph development of and growth of export product center okay this is the objective a number of towns have emerged as a dynamic industries cluster contributing handsomely in india's export okay what government doing <coughs> government is recognizing the potential exporters in the town okay and industrial cluster this industrial cluster mix up their potential neighbor and the, the value of the goods and what is the value of uh, what market is requirement of the goods this government is providing facility to the small town also be saying be saying okay selected town producing goods of 750 100 crores or more may be notified as a tt town which are exporting 750 crores or more than that can notify as a town of export excellence okay so what goods are uh, uh, we, uh, what goods uh, can be produced by the village handulam handicraft agriculture and fisher sector and this kind of okay so good good initiative by government to enhancing export and you know that ki why government increase export i will explain because government needs foreign currency for importing oil and other energies lpg and all the things so to managing balance of payment we need foreign currency right so this foreign currency can earn by the export so government providing the facility export promotions of the good so this facility this is all the facility provided by the government okay director general of commercial intelligence and statistics this is the iso certified organization under work administrative of the director general Tra- uh, foreign trades so what this organization do yes it is very important we it is the provide the trade data which is the source of guideline and direction of the export and import trades trade data trade data is uh, yearly data uh, how much we export how much we have import so difference between importer export is also very uh, become a exchange rate of the country you need to understand this is very important so this data is managed by the general director of commercial intelligence of statistical statistics so what this organization do this organization is very helpful for the government government know that which currency we have lack means that uh, we have which currencies we have short just just like we have a short of the usd so so how will know so this organization will provide the export import trade data to government and government can take action against that how we can uh, fulfill the short usd currency in the foreign reserves says like so so through which main 
main point or main main uh, you can uh, guess say the main activities by this organization first monthly and quarterly publication in the cd form second generation of the data from foreign trade database as per the request as per request okay and dg ci and says price information system pis this is very important you cannot change your goods value in the international market this is monitored by the price information system okay so next this is very helpful but overall you can study this uh, paragraphs yourself you will learn too many things i have explained only main topic okay so next step paragraph is next paragraph is reducing and animating print out the custom billings in previous time there are many more documents station process was in the custom level we need to submit many documents okay and many take many print outs so government has reduced the this document at the custom class you you need to understand there of that time uh, before some time there are seven type of shipping bill first is exporter copy okay then export promotion copy exchange control copy duty drawback copy such kind of many copies but government has take uh, uh, initiative for the this uh, system to enhance the performance and uh, wasting of the paper for the environment so this facility is very useful uh, our environment also because there is no wasting of paper and you know there is no uh, no uh, no forest are reducing by the for the paper gen uh, producing okay so this next we will study national committee on trade facilitations okay here we will study in 2000 april 2016 the india's rectification of world trade organization agreement and facilitate facili facilities of trade facilities of authorities the national committee of trade facilities has been constituted okay the establish of the committee is the part of mandatory institution i am trade fred uh, facilitation authority what is cabinet secretary means that our government has appointed the minister for this committee they will go to other countries and check whether what kind of environment what kind of market what kind of goods they requires to improving export so this committee is very important is constituted on the april 2016 so we need to understand that ki government is providing to exporter many benefits okay uh, this committee is not only work only in india but outside also okay to open the export market in the world level email initiative email in email initiative what what for when you import your goods you don't know your where is your shipment but by email notification you will receive the stage of the clearance process so this is good because when you import your goods you will not interact with the custom your cha will interact so if you uh, so email initiative will help you to know the actual status of the shipment facility facility to deferred payment okay is a simple way i will answer in this this paragraph clear scoot fast and pay duty later simple means you can uh, clear your good and pay duty later this is a 
रूल्स इम्पोर्ट ड्यूटी पेमेंट इम्पोर्ट ड्यूटी रूल्स टू ओके सो यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड द इम्पोर्टर सर्टिफाइड अंडर ए प्रोग्राम टू टायर्स एंड थ्री टायर्स हैज बीन नोटिफाइज फॉर अवेलिंग बेनिफिट ऑफ द दिस रूल ओके सो गाइस दिस इज द चैप्टर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड वाट वाट इज यूज ऑफ दिस चैप्टर तो इम्पोर्ट एक्सपोर्ट वी वी नो वी मस्ट नो द रूल्स ऑफ गवर्नमेंट लीगल फ्रेमवर्क एंड ट्रेड फैसिलिटेशन ओके सो वाट इज वाट इज दिस रूल्स आर यू हैव स्टडीज ऑलरेडी in previous chapter and this chapter is also done today so we will come next uh, with next chapter and study of the foreign trade of india okay guys thank you for watching this video and uh, please comment if uh, some mistake in chapter and uh, you can check whether what uh, you can study and explain in comments of me for the next video if you want to know, want to know about more in this chapter you can also in comments so i can uh, explain the specific paragraph again and prepare the short video for that okay thank you like and share this video bye bye